Hello and welcome to the Crying Podcast, day one at Sonosphere. Joining me is David Ellefson from Megadeth. Hello, sir. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. So you've been around Europe as part of the big four, you know, day, uh, day of the Sonosphere Festival. Right. Uh, how's it been treating you this year? Because you've already done it once before. It's wonderful. In fact, it, it, is, it was, last year was certainly all the excitement of, yeah. oh my gosh, is, are they really going to do this? You know? Yeah. And then once we fired one off in Poland, they're like, wow, that, that really worked, yeah. you know? And, um, and this year, there's sort of a stability because we've done a few of these so we kind of know what we're walking into yeah. but it hasn't taken away from any of the excitement or the fun and 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 some of the unpredictability of it is um uh is the jam that we do yes. toward the end of metallica set and in fact we've opened it up a little bit more to do some other songs uh, cool. too so um that's that's the one thing that we're you know after we all play our set yeah. it's sort of like we go are we doing the jam what song is it you know yeah. everybody kind of frantically running around and right. and some of us know it some of us barely know it some of us yeah. don't know it at all, and will, that makes it the fun of it. Will Sonosphere hear something that you've never played before tonight, do you think? Well, or here's the thing. You know, tonight is the big four plus Diamond Head. Yes. And, you know, Diamond Head are... It's integral to the whole scene. Yeah, thing. without yeah. them, we may not even be here, mm-hmm. you know, really. So um, I would say it's a pretty safe bet we'll do a Diamond Head song. Excellent. But That's always good. It, the day's still early, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, um, I mean... How are you enjoying the sort of European festival vibe? Because uh, this is our summer, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. d- does it ever put a dampener on the uh, kind of atmosphere backstage? Hey, man, I live in Phoenix, Arizona. It's yes. just a desert, and yes. it's like 117 degrees yeah. right now. This is awesome. I yeah. love I love being here. This is this is great. And you know, these festivals here, you know, you, you come prepared. You know, you bring an umbrella and a jacket, and you're yeah, prepared yeah. to run into a tent or whatever yeah. you got to do to take cover as the rain clouds come over. And even on stage, you know, you know, sometimes the rain. Adds a like nice eerie spooky dark vibe right, to okay. a heavy metal show. Cool, excellent. Uh, you've been playing uh, a new song, uh, "Public Enemy." Is it "Public Enemy" number Public one? "Public Enemy" or? number one. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's how's it been going down with the fans? It's really good. You know, obviously our fans. I think when we play a new song, they they go into listening mode. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. but there's a there's a piece certainly in the middle. But you know, anytime you play a kick drum in a big live festival, mm-hmm. it people respond you yeah, know yeah. what I mean so that's the sort of everyone like, wow awesome yeah. Yeah. yeah but so it's it's been great you know we wrote it over here um, or at least originated it uh, oh, on our tour last year in 2010 yeah so it's cool to be playing it back over here to uh, European audiences and probably here in England today yeah, yeah. And, uh, and to be rolling out the album is uh, being mixed right now it's gonna hopefully be coming out here in a couple of months so oh, it's kind of cool to give a little sneak preview of things to come so the people who will hear it today will that give them a good flavor overall flavor of the the full album or is it a very different it's kind palette? of the middle of the road flavor I would right. say because there's some stuff that is really ripping and thrashing yeah. and uh, which our fans would hope we would have on it so it I think it's just one of many flavors on the album Album. Yeah. yeah. Uh, finally, there's thousands of people out there camping and braving the elements. As an Arizona resident, uh, do you ever get the chance to uh, kind of go into a more, uh, you know, green area and, uh, you know, take on the great outdoors? Oh, well, you know, it's hard sometimes when you're in these in the festivals because obviously it's a lot of acreage and a lot of land here, yeah. you know. But, um, you know, just driving up here is great. Getting out of London. I love London, but, man, it's good to decompress and get out of the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sort of yeah. like when you're in Los Angeles or New York. It's fun. But it's good to be out here in the countryside. There's a castle over there, yeah, yeah, which is a real one, very it? English of you, which yeah. we love. You know, yeah. it's like you can't come to England and not see a castle. It's going to be dismantled after you leave. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great though because it makes you really feel like you know you feel like you're in England, and yeah. it's and it's it's just, it, my first time here at Nebworth, by the way. All oh, right. Never been here, never oh, wow. played here. So for me, after all these years, yeah. it's nice to know there's still some firsts. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right? I mean, what's your sort of favorite festival memory? Well, I mean, this is definitely one because it's the first time. Yes. Right. Yep. I mean that, and that sometimes that's that's the cool thing is when you've never done something before, you don't know. It's kind of the unknown, you know. Yeah. So uh, it's really a great experience. You know, one of the other ones was uh, years ago, 1988. We played Castle Donington. Yes. Which yeah. was you know a big metal uh, day that day for us, you know. Yeah. So those are a couple of things. You know, Rock and Rio down in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, yeah. You know, I yeah, mean, brilliant. you know. Just huge, huge stuff. So there, you know, there's all, and again, those were all the firsts. Yeah. For me, so um, it's nice that I get to have that again today. Brilliant. Well, I hope your first day, at Don, uh, sorry, <laughs> Nebworth is uh, great, and uh, thank you for talking to us. You're welcome. Grand podcast. Cheers. See you.